Hello, we're World Connections. This is Ali Nessa coming to you from the Honeywell Lodge here in Newbury, New Hampshire, where I'm staying for a little weekend getaway. It's a beautiful little countryside in the middle of the woods. And I figured what better time to make a little video for you guys uh, regarding the newly released minimal waste tips for the BC Sealer, uh, BC Sealer High Flow, and the RRM. Now, this was in direct response to many of you who thought the normal dispensing tips that come with the BC Sealer have way too much waste associated with them. And so these minimal waste tips were designed so that you don't have any more uh, sealer left in the hub of the syringe, nor having a thick needle uh, that could still have way too much sealer in there after you're done with an application, hopefully being able to save uh, more of the sealer and basically uh, drive your dollar a little bit further. Uh, and uh, now what I kind of liked about the original uh, sealer um, tips was the fact that the back could be used as a reservoir after injection, so you could dip your cone in there and place it into the root canal. But these new tips have more of a savings for you, so you may want to give it a shot. And it's uh, available through Braster USA, so you can take a look at what they have. But I wanted to also now recap the hydraulic condensation technique, which we've developed and described uh, many years ago for you guys, uh, with, the, um, with these nanoparticular bioceramics using this minimal waste tip. The key with any tip is you have to make sure that you're not lodging or pressing and firmly fitting the tip inside the root canal. The tip should always be loose in the root canal to allow you to be able to um, have the sealer kind of flow back. If a sealer is ever lodged, it creates too much hydraulics and you can see, push the sealer out the end of the root. And that's nothing that you would want. So the, uh, the trick is the same here with the conventional as well as this new tips. Always make sure that the sealer tip is loose in the root canal. Also make sure that you inject only in the coronal half of the root. So the technique here using a resin block to demonstrate is after you've done your master apical file, you take the corresponding size, got a percha cone, BC coated cones, or sometimes maybe one size smaller to get a good fit that goes all the way down to the apex. That's the key thing. You have to make sure that you reach the full length with your master cone and there's a little bit of room for a backflow of the sealer. And then you go ahead and inject the sealer with this technique only in the coronal half of the root. As I've mentioned before, if you're not familiar with, you don't have magnification illumination, you're not very experienced, I'd rather have you not inject directly into the root, but actually uh, put the sealer on a, on a paper pad and use the biceramic, kind of like a conventional sealer without direct injection, so that you don't end up overfilling or underfilling with, uh, with a direct injection technique, which is a more advanced protocol. But in this particular case, if you are a more advanced user and you're able to inject directly into the root canal in the coronal half, then you take a file, you could take the master file, you could take a smaller file or a number of other um, points to just push the sealer down to the full working length at this point so you can coat the canal completely. Once the canal is completely coated, then you have to coat your gutta percha cone and uh, once you got a percha cone is coated, you slowly seat the cone to the apex, allowing a little bit of um, escape from around the cone of the sealer around the cone to come back up. Once the cone has been seated, now if you have a very tight canal, your shape is going to allow only one cone to go in. But if you have an oval canal, there is a lot of room on the side, by all means go ahead and add additional cones to it so they can fill those spots. You don't have to do lateral condensation here, the cone itself is doing the condensation for you. But what you're doing here is you're filling those spaces where there's a pooling of sealer where they've got a percha cones, and then you have to sear it off. You can use the Endo Pro 270 at a high, very high temperature, and very quickly just go across the, um, um, the stems of the gutta percha cones, uh, ideally a millimeter up above the gutta percha, so that then you have, you take that one millimeter stub of molten gutta percha and take a number 10 plugger and quickly um, create a little bit of a, um, of a nail head of gutta percha that'll cover the whole orifice, not allowing any unset sealer to be exposed during the washing and removing of the sealer in the chamber. But in this particular case, I'm searing off at the orifice level, which means that in an oval canal, if I were to then compress it down, it's gonna go in about a millimeter deeper into the root canal, uh, which is going to space one or two millimeter kind of a uh, uh, area. Now you can backfill that with thermoplastic gutta percha if you wish, but what you can also do instead uh, is to put a canal cap using the BC liner by filling that spot and filling a little bit above a millimeter or two above that space with the BC liner that'll allow you to have an immediate canal cap and coronal seal, which will help, has been shown in the studies, 
placing a immediate canal cap uh, and, and, and sealing it immediately can help improve the, um, uh, the seal of the tooth rather than just mere cotton and cavit. Anyway, so I hope this information was helpful to you. Uh, please don't forget to uh, share the video on social media. And if you have any comments below and um, questions, please write them down. And I'll try to answer them for you. For Rubel Dendo from the beautiful New Hampshire uh, forests here, uh, I'm Ali Nese. I'll see you guys in the next video.